Hi, my name is Alexey Borisenko, and today, together with Hesus, we want to show off you a few new features in our DevNet platform. Hello, Hesus. Hello, Alexey. Hello, everybody. I'm Jesus Yescas. I work as developer at Bukai with DevNet. Um, very basically, I would like just to share that what I like to do most is build stuff. I'm very passionate about it. And today I want to show you something that we built together. Yeah, I have some things. Uh, so we start with uh, code exchange uh, with NSO container for code exchange. Am I right? Yes. So one of the technologies that I'm responsible for is NSO. And today I want to show you a playground that we built on Cisco Code Exchange. The easiest way to find it is if you go to the search bar and you type NSO, you will get a lot of results. But in this case, for the playground to, to find it easy, you go down and in advanced repo features, look for Cisco Cloud IDE. Now, in this case, you can see we have several playgrounds already. Every one of them has useful examples. In this case, for example, let's focus on this one, NSO RESCON DNS example. And you can see already here I have a description. I have the option to run in Cloud ID, but I also have the option to see on GitHub. And let's go to GitHub because this is one of the things that I really like about the playground that we had built. And what I like is that you can see right away the code. So for example, uh, this is a DNS example of the package that we are running on NSO. But let's say you are interested on in how we are doing the HTTP request. Well, in this case, you can go directly to the Python file and you can start taking a look, okay, how we define the classes, why we have the classes, how we are managing the sessions. This is something that I like interested. Sometimes you have the questions how to do something and you just need to find the piece of code that is doing that part, right? The same, for example, for the DNS on RESCON. How do we are doing that part? How, what are the paths that we are using? And sometimes you also want to see this live, right? You want to test it. Okay, I want to test this, how this is going to run. Uh, what if I do a change? And that's the beauty of the NSO Playground. That's what I like the most. So for example, from the Cisco Code Exchange page or directly from your repository. For example, if I scroll down, I added this image, which really is a, a link to the playground. So if I click this, this will open this window where we are in Cisco Cloud IDE and we are running NSO directly. So this is a live environment where you can see I already have my code ready and I can start playing around. Um, if you pay closer attention, you can see a small detail. And the small detail is that in this case, for example, this extension is telling me that we are using Jupyter Notebooks because we are also supporting Jupyter Notebooks on Cisco Cloud IDE and in this case for the playground. Okay, so I believe those are enough words and you want to see this thing working because like I said, this is what I like to do. So for example, in my case, what I have to do is to go to this like execute cell button, click on it. In this case, it's telling me to select at kernel. So Python environment It's telling me to select the uh, version of Python that I want to run. In this case, the first one, because a small detail that I forgot to mention before is that the NSO version that we are using here, the container is actually the official NSO container. We are running what the BU is supporting. So that's pretty, pretty nice. So let me select the kernel. It's installing everything behind the scenes. It's connecting to the kernel. And now, for example, in this case, I had my environment variable set. As you may know, it's better to use environment variables. So if I need to move around, I can move the code and just point to uh, the location of the environment variables. Next part, I need to source uh, the NCSC uh, file, which will also set some environment variables for NSO. Pretty simple. And now it's a matter of building the actual uh, example. In this case, this is a make file 
that uh, I develop, which will create everything, the netting devices that we are using, we'll put the example, we compile the example, and we'll have everything ready and we'll start also NSO. Again, if you are curious about how this make file works, the beauty is that you can go to GitHub or you can see it right here. It looks like, okay, it looks like NSO finish. So we are ready to go. And now we can go to directly to the example. So in this case, because of the way I program the example, uh, we are importing uh, the DNS handler from the DNS restconf file or module. We are defining some username and password and some base URL. So remember, we are connecting to NSO directly here inside uh, the Cisco Cloud IDE. So let's do that. And done. And now let's run the first example that we have on this Jupyter Notebook, which is, which is showing you how to list devices from NSO using RESTConf. And remember, we are doing everything inside the web browser. So this is quite nice. So for example, in this case, you can see I created this method called list devices in NSO, which is going to do a REST operation. In this case, we'll perform a GET with this path. And if I run this part, you can see we have the path that we use. And this is the response from NSO. And NSO is telling us right away, hey, from RESTConf, we have these devices, and this is the IP from the devices. This is the method, and this is the status code. So I believe this is quite nice. And there are more operations, for example, how to synchronize from a single device, synchronize from all the devices, how we can add the DNS server. And in this case, for example, we need another REST operation, in this case, patch, and the payload. But I believe the most important part is for you to run it by yourself. This is where you can learn the most. So the best thing to do is to go to Cisco Code Exchange, go look for NSO, and in this case, start playing around with the playground. And the best thing is that you will get the same experience as I'm having. And of course, if there are questions, please let us know. Or if you consider, hey, this is missing and could be useful, also let us know and we will, we will do the best we can to uh, make it happen. So let's see. Basically, this is the playground. Of course, there are more. And the beauty that I like it is that if I go one step before, uh, this is not just the only exercises we have more. For example, NSO concurrency model, best practices for developing with NSO in this case. Or even, for example, in this case, this is a workshop that I delivered on uh, Cisco Live, how to use the Python API. And everything is with the playground with Cisco Code Exchange. So yeah, I believe the best thing to do is to go here and start practicing. Yeah, sure. Uh, and we will add the uh, links mentioned it, uh, here in the video description. Uh, yeah, do you want to share something else? No, I believe that the action item is for our audience to go to Cisco Code Exchange and start practicing. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. And uh, yeah, please share your feedback in Cisco community or by reaching out directly, Hesus or me. Thank you, Hesus. Thank you, everybody.